Hey everybody, today I have a quick tutorial on configuring the sales path or any path on Salesforce Lightning and how, how can we change these values available on the path as well. So let's get started. Um, today, so basically if your opportunity object has or if your org as a whole has sales path enabled or you have multiple sales path then um, you will be able to follow along but if you don't have sales path sales process uh, go ahead and create few sales processes it's really easy to do all you need to do is create new and enter the name of your sales process and then pick the available pick list value for example here I have created a sales cri sales cafeteria and um, on my opportunity page I don't want to see all these values on the path I only want to see few values like one two three four five six these six values and that's all so what you need to do is create a sales process with the values you want to see on your sales path all right so once we are done creating the sales process we need to go back to the opportunity and create a record type for that sales process because every record type needs one sales process in opportunity so I already have created a sales record type for that sales process called cafeteria all right so if I go to my opportunity record let's go to one opportunity record real quick So if I go to this opportunity, so this opportunity, I cre uh, it was already available on my Salesforce org. This is a developer edition. And this is without creating a record type, or which is master record. So what happens is it has all the pick list available on the sales path, right? But um, this is not always the case we want to configure it, we want to customize it or not show all these values there according to our org or according to your business requirements, right? So in that scenario, you will do this. You will need to create the sales process, create the record type from that sales process and then you need to create a sales path. Um, now by default your Salesforce um, already so once you create the record type you are done um, halfway so what's gonna happen is um, you only will see those now let me go to a cafeteria record type I'm just gonna create one right for you cafeteria and it had six uh, pick list right now I'm gonna just name it some test one two three New customer amount let's say and stage prospecting even these values will always be six because that's what we chose sales process for this particular record type so only six values and I'm gonna say prospecting and save Oops, I missed a field type new customer and save so now you see since we created the sales process we see only those six paths so this is directly dependent on the value or the details um, the stage so it's directly depending on stage and this is out of the box I did not configure this I did not uh, pair it with the stage this is out of the box uh, from Salesforce now you might notice here on my org I have this show more button now how do you get that this is not available out of the box to be able to do this you will need to configure it uh, and the way to do that is to create a sales path um, so that we do by going to path uh, search for path settings on your setup and uh, when you are here for the first time you'll see a green button called enable path you just click on that button enable path and then you create a new path 
now if your opportunity records has multiple record types so your opportunity object has two or three record types then you'll have to you need to create two or three um, path I do uh, there is an idea on Salesforce um, to give an ability to clone a path but right now we don't have it so we just need to create every time from scratch if your opportunity has multiple record types so right now I only have one record type and it's already created so let me just show you real quick so when you create new just name it um, as your sales process because that makes it easier to remember um, an object opportunity record type we pick cafeteria so if you if you have multiple record types you pick multiple times record type and then stage because that's by default and then you click next and this this is how you add or update fields here just add it save it and you can put anything you like here you can use pictures links just like a um, rich text and then click next and make it active and finish so once you do this that's when you are going to get this little um, show more option here on your opportunity page and this will only be available for that record type um, which you created the path for if you do not have any record type it will show everything on your stage pick list all right so now since we did opportunity same thing applies for leads as well right now I have no record types on my lead and this is what this is what I have on my lead page lead path so now same thing on the lead as well we need to go to lead processes and after creating a lead process you need to create a lead path so I created a lead process saying I only want three open not contacted working contacted close converted you can of course add more by going to your lead fields itself and add some more quickest values here depending upon your requirement um, so let's go to object and find lead all right so sorry let's go to record types create a new record type and I'm going to say test something and the lead process test enabling for all the profile make it active make sure it is active next and uh, just going to say save now once I save that this is not going to change yet because um, it still has your master record um, master master record so if I change the record type to test okay so let's make it test and let's leave it to open not contacted and save it there you see now it got reduced to three because we changed the record type so it this is totally dependent on the record type and it's going to take the pick list or the fields um, available for that record type as simple because just like your page layout or um, your pick list values are, are controlled by the record types right so whenever you add a new pick list you will need to make sure that it is enabled for that record type same thing here it is directly based on your record type um, sorry it is directly based on the pick list values available for that record type and to, to get that show more you will need to follow the same process you need to go to your path settings create a new path and use that record type for lead add all the fields and um, then you can see the little arrow here I'm going to leave that up to you to practice on your own um, just like we did for opportunities now uh, this is not only available for these objects now Salesforce also lets you to create for custom objects your own path as long as there is a pick list on that object as long as there is a pick list value you can create 
So let's see if I have any custom objects on my org. I don't see any. I'm gonna create one real quick here. This is just me creating a custom object here. And as long as you have a pick list value on your fields, so let's just create a um, pick list value here. Uh, pick list fields, I mean. Click next. Pick list. All right, um, new. So we created a custom object and a field. Now let's see if we are able to create a path on that, right? So path settings. Now the custom path is much more easier than creating for um, opportunity because um, I'm gonna say test path because that's the name of my object. Now it is much more easier because you don't have to worry about creating a sales process, a lead process. There it is, test. And since we don't have record type, and again, also, even for custom object, you can have multiple record types. Now, multiple record types will have multiple pick list values available, and that's where it gets its values from. Same, the same concept. The only difference is you don't have to worry about sales process and or path. Sorry, yeah, you don't have to worry about the sales process and or lead process and that's it so pretty straightforward um, there are uh, I'll, I'll post the link below for that idea on cloning the path in, in case if you have multiple record types because sometimes all of your record types might have same pick list values but um, you might need to create that again and again and I feel uh, cloning will really help um, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below um, and uh, let me know what you think and have you tried out paths on your own. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.